Masses are rude, lame, unmade, pernicious in their demands and influence, and need not to be flattered, but to be schooled. I wish not to concede anything to them, but to tame, drill, divide, and break them up, and draw individuals out of them. If we walk in the woods, we must feed mosquitoes. A man's style is his mind's voice. Wooden minds, wooden voices. The first in time and the first in importance of the influences upon the mind is that of nature. Every day, the sun, and after sunset, night and her stars. Ever the winds blow, ever the grass grows. Every materialist will be an idealist, but an idealist can never go backward to be a materialist. I must be myself. I cannot break myself any longer for you, or you. If you can love me for what I am, we shall be the happier. If you cannot, I will still seek to deserve that you should. Men cease to interest us when we find their limitations. The only sin is limitation. As soon as you once come up with a man's limitations, it is all over with him. The stars awake in a certain reverence, because though always present, they are inaccessible, but all natural objects make a kindred impression, when the mind is open to their influence. Nature never wears a mean appearance. When a dog is chasing after you, whistle for him. Go off to the house of thy friend, for weeds choke the unused path. Truth is the property of no individual but is the treasure of all men. Crossing a bare common, in snow puddles at twilight, under a clouded sky, without having in my thoughts any occurrence of special good fortune. I have enjoyed perfect exhilaration. I am glad to the brink of fear. Europe extends to the Alleghenies, America lies beyond. There is no privacy that cannot be penetrated. No secret can be kept in the civilized world. Society is a masked ball where everyone hides his real character, then reveals it by hiding. Every natural action is graceful. All history is a record of the power of minorities, and of minorities of one. We are like travelers using the cinders of a volcano to roast their eggs. Whilst we see that it always stands ready to clothe what we would say, we cannot avoid the question whether the characters are not significant of themselves. All great men come out of the middle classes. The essence of friendship is entireness, a total magnanimity and trust. Education should be as broad as man, 